Hi everyone, welcome to a new Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create an animated logo in Adobe Flash CS6. What I have in front of me is the animated logo that we'll be creating in this video tutorial. I do hope you guys like it. So let's exit this and let's start the lesson. Let's go to File, New, Action Script 3.0. I want the background color as black and I'll click OK. What I'll do first is I'll go to Layer 1 and I'll change the name to Logo. I will then click on the Text tool, change the color to white, have the font as Times New Roman, the style is bold, and the font size as 48 point. I will then type in Pan Americana. I'll resize the text box and I will position Pan Americana to the left side of the canvas page, just like that. Once we've done that, I'll click on the 100th frame of the logo layer and I'll insert a keyframe. I will also do the same on the 15th layer, sorry, the 15th frame. So I'll insert a keyframe on the 15th frame. And on the 21st frame, I'll insert a keyframe there, just like that. Now on the 15th frame, I want to click on Pan America, go to Properties. I'll add a filter by clicking this icon right here. I'll go to Glow. I'll change the color to a white color set the quality to high and I'll keep the X and Y values as 5 pixels. I will then right click anywhere between the 15th and 20th frame and create a motion tween. Just like that. I'll click on the 20th frame or the 20th yeah I'll click on the 20th frame I'll click on Americana and like I did with the 15th frame I will go over to Properties, Filters, and change the X and Y value to 20. Just like that. And once you've done that, I will create a new layer. I'll name this layer Mask. And on the 21st layer, sorry, the 21st frame of the Mask layer, I'll insert a keyframe right there. I will then click on the first frame of the mask layer. I'll go over to my rectangle tool. I'll go to fill color and select a light greenish color. And I'll, I'll, and I'll create a rectangle outside of the canvas page, just like that. I will then right click and convert that to a symbol. For the name, I'll have it as mask. For the type, I'll have it as movie clip, and I'll set the registration to the center. I will then click anywhere between the second and 19th frame of the mask layer and create a motion tween. Once that's done, I'll click on the 20th frame and I'll select the rectangle. I'll then right click, I'll go to free transform just like that and I will hold down the alt key and while holding down the alt key I'll move the rectangle or the green rectangle over our text just like that and if you hit control and enter you'll see that the green moves over Pan America now that we've done that I want to right click on the mask layer and select mask. That'll make the green rectangle vanish, but don't worry, it's still there. I then want to go over to my logo layer, click on the 21st keyframe, right click and clear that keyframe. Key so the entire bar uh, from the 15th frame onwards is blue. 
So basically indicating that that entire section is a motion tween. Once you've done that, I want to insert three new layers. I'll name the first layer bar one, second layer bar two, third layer bar three, just like that. I want to go into bar one. I want to select the rectangle tool, go to fill color, and also I want to select this orange color like that, just like that. I then want to create my rectangle, like so. I will then select that. I'll go to modify, transform, and rotate and skew. I'll then skew that. like so and what I'll do now is I'll convert that into a symbol I'll name it bar 1 I'll have it as a movie clip and set the registration to the center and once you've done that I'll go back into library I'll right click on bar 1 and I'll duplicate that so I'll call it bar 2 I'll then duplicate bar 2 and I'll name it bar 3 so I'll have three bars in my libraries panel. I'll click on uh, I'll click on bar one. I'll drag it right in front of the green rectangle, but not onto the canvas page. I will then create a keyframe on the twenty-first frame of the bar one layer just like that I'll click on the first frame and then I will go to properties I'll go to add glow I'll click on that orange color set the quality as high and have the blur X and Y values as five pixels each I will then create a motion tween between the second and nineteenth frame of that layer and on the twentieth frame I will simply hold shift and drag that across so it's in front of that green rectangle. I'll then select that. I will select that bar one symbol, go to properties and change the blur to 20 pixels just like that so if I hit control and enter you'll get that effect now that we've done that I'll click on the 21st frame of bar 1 which is a keyframe I'll right click and I'll clear that keyframe what that will do is that will make the entire layer of bar 1 into a motion tween so once you've done that, I want to go over to bar 2. I want to click on the 26th frame of bar 2 and insert a keyframe there. And I want to select the 41st key uh, frame of bar 2 and insert a keyframe there, just like that. I then want to go over to my libraries panel. I'll select bar 2 and I'll drag that out of the canvas page to that position. I'll then select that uh, bar 2, I'll right click, I'll edit, I'll go to properties and I'll change the fill color to this reddish color, just like that. I'll then right click anywhere between the 26th and 39th frame of the bar 2 layer and I'll create a motion tween. Then I will go back to the 26th frame. I'll go to properties. 
I'll go to add filter glow change the color I'll go to quality I'll set it as high and I'll keep the X and Y values as 5 pixels I'll then click on the 40th frame of bar 2 layer I'll hold down the shift key and I'll drag that over just like that once you've done that I'll select bar 2 I'll go to properties and I'll change the blur to 20 while still keeping the color the same and uh, the quality as high I'll then click on the 41st layer sorry not the 40 41st layer the 41st frame I'll clear that keyframe key and just like I did with bar 1 that entire layer well not the entire layer the 26th frame onwards has now turned into a motion tween so if I hit control and enter that's what you're gonna get now I want to go over to my bar 3 layer once I'm in there I'll click on the 46th frame I'll right click and I'll insert a keyframe and on the 61st frame I'll right click and insert a keyframe there I'll go back to the 46th frame I'll go to my libraries panel click on bar 3 and drag that onto the canvas page I will then right click edit go to properties change the fill color to this grayish color like so I'll go back and then I want to go back to properties this time I want to go to fillers glow change my color to that grayish color I'll set the quality as high and like I did with those other two bars I'll keep the X and Y values as 5 pixels I will then click anywhere between the 47th layer so the 47th frame and the 59th frame and I'll create a motion tween once I've done that I'll click on the 60th frame I'll hold down the shift key and I'll drag that bar across so it can meet its siblings just like that and I'll try to align that as close as I can like so yeah and now that now that I've done that I want to click on that bar go to properties and I'll change the blur to 20 pixels once I've done that I'll click on the 61st frame of bar 3 and I'll clear that keyframe so now that I have the three bars right there so if I hit control and enter you'll see the following effect in shape and now our animated logo is starting to take its shape I'll then insert another layer I'll call this layer banner I'll click on the 64th frame of banner and I'll insert a keyframe there I will then go to the text tool I'll go to fill color I'll select this orange color I'll have the size as 48 point and the f uh, I want the font as brush script STD now I want to type in the words go find yourself I'll place that directly below Panamericana I then want to select go find yourself right click and select break apart basically that breaks apart each letter from each other I will then right click and select break apart once again now I want to go over to the eraser tool I want to go to fill color and I want to select black and now I want to take note of what my shortcut key is for 
my enter keyframe. Now I think for the default PC it's F6 or Control F6, but that doesn't work for me, so I've changed mine to Control 1. So to enter a new keyframe for me, I would press Control plus 1. So I'll hit Control plus 1 to enter a new keyframe. And every time I do that, I want to use the eraser tool to erase a part of the text. I also want to note that I'm erasing it backwards. So I'm erasing the text backwards. And then once I've done that, I will reverse the frames so it looks like as if it was being handwritten the normal way. So from the left to the right side. But for now, like I said, I'll erase small sections of the letter, starting from the back end. Now that I've done that, I want to select the last frame of banner. I want to hold down shift and control. And I will select all of the frames up until the 64th frame. On the 64th frame, I'll right click and I'll reverse frames. Just like that. I will then hit control enter. And as you can see, that's the animated logo. I will now do some modifications to try and remedy one of the effects. So I'll click on our logo layer and on the 100th keyframe, I'll right click and I'll clear that keyframe. So that entire logo layer is now a motion tween up until the 15th frame that is. Now that we've done that I'll hit control enter again and there you have it there's our animated logo in all our glory. Um, I should probably point out that um, you might want to use a smaller brush for the handwriting technique or to create go find yourself as you can see, it is a bit messy, but for this tutorial, um, I did kind of rush it, but it gives you a fair idea of how to create um, an animated logo and the functions and basically the basics on how to create something like this. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Uh, once again, thanks for watching.